Welcome you guys. This is the Syndra and it is here. The 1.5 patch cornflakes and the Waking the Tiger DLC. I cannot wait for this. I've been so excited. I've been waiting. Like they released it like an hour late. I think so at least. And I just can't wait to drive into this. Oh, they added all. Oh, let's see. Poland, Canada, Australia, Zealand. Yeah, these are all the. Yeah. And we got China. Generissimo. Oh, they have different modifiers now? Focus on defense. This is the same as before, the political power gain. This is the guy I want to play. Stability plus 60%. Generate war gold tension limit against country. Oh, so I can't generate against the Chinese dudes until I'm at 75. Okay. Interesting. Sebei Sanma, Xinjiang, Shangxi, Yunnan, Guangxi Gleek, and Manchukuo. And there's China. A communist China. Interesting. But I'm going to go as Japan. The Empire of Japan stands at a crossroads. Hokushun... Hoku Shinron, the Northern Expansion Doctrine, is favored by the army and calls for an advance into Siberia. Nanshinron, the Southern Expansion Doctrine, is supported by the Navy and has the rich European colonies in Southeast Asia and the Pacific as its targets. And then, of course, there is always China, Japan, and then there's always... And then, of course, there is always China. Japan possesses a formidable military... But it industries are starving for resources and time is running out. Which path to choose? Well, we're going to go into China, aren't we? So, uh, historical... Let's go Iron Man mode. Historical AI? Sure. Oh, there's more difficulties now. Civilian. Um, see, the, so the cap on production is limited. Research time and political power gain. Um, 20%. Ooh, I think that's a quote. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, sweat, tears, and sweat. I don't remember who said that. But let's go veteran, shall we? Nah, this is my first playthrough. Let's just go regular. Right? Oh, everything, all of my saves are fucked. But it's fine. Ooh, I can't wait for this. Okay. Well, so far everything looks fine here. 100% war support. Militarism plus 20. What is militarism? Mm. This one. War support plus 20. Mobilization laws cost. So all of these are cheaper? Yeah, they are cheaper. Okay. Justify war gold tag. It is reduced, research time increased, and civilian factory construction speed is reduced. Okay. Inter-service rivalry. Uh, this is the rivalry between the army and the navy, I'm guessing. Ooh. That's new. Air yeah, research time. Zaibatsus. Those are the uh, major companies. Daily political power cost, trade laws cost, economics law cost, but they reduce the cost of civilian, military, and dockyard construction. But it's 5% consumer goods factory. I think I want this gone. State Shintoism. Factory bomb vulnerability and division recovery rate. Interesting. Now, before I dive into the tree, let's take a look at what we have here. Um. Oh, let's modify this. We have... We have our island defenders. Let's just make the pawn. They, wow, that's a very large motorized company. What are these? Divisions using this template cannot be parachuted. Special force. Yeah, okay, so the mountaineers and the marines and the airborne are now special forces. And you can only have a limited amount of them. Which is gonna limit. There we go, these are the marines. This template contains six Special Forces Battalion. We're currently fielding six and training zero of our 25 allowed Special Forces Battalion. This leaves room for three divisions 
using this template. Wow, so this is very, very limited. We got our horses. They might work out in China. They're faster than infantry. I'll keep them around. You guys are... Well, it's not horrible. It's not as bad as I'd hoped. But anyway, let's go over this. Uh, let's just get all the pawns into one group. I don't know how much I'm going to do spend on defending the small islands all over the place. It's gonna be a nightmare to micro all that. Okay, so we have... Right, we have a new system here. This is... This is the field marshal. Right. I'm gonna move you to a new theater. Oh, I have to... Uh -huh. Alright, I want to make some more first. Let's make some more battalions and then I can sort them between. Uh, we got our one marine. Okay. No, 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 not the navy. We're not there yet. Uh, motorized, go here. And let's get the tanks out of there. And then the rest are just the cav and the infantry. We can just put all of them here for now. So... Pawns go down here. And then we got marines. I want you separate. We got tanks and motorized. I want you separate. Okay. This is looking fine. My main army here. Uh, let's go ahead and give you a field marshal. Ooh, we only have two available. Organization loss when moving. Samurai lineage. This man hails from proud lineage of samurai and remains true to the old traditions and loyalties. Politically connected. So he's cheap to promote, but he is very slow to gain experience. But he's already level 4. He's also a samurai lineage, and he's got the same thing here. Ooh. I can spend uh, uh, something, yeah. So this max is out at a hundred. Okay, so I should spend these on giving my dudes. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not getting any of this right now. We get from war support. Ah, so having high war support gives us more command power. Interesting. Yeah, but. Um, Let's not have this guy here. I'll give this to you. And then you're here, and now you should be... You're exactly 24. That works out great. Attacking and planning. Oh yeah, they have each of them have different stats right now. So you have attack, defense, planning, and supply. You have very high in everything there. you got like an average above 4. Kind of like uh, Hoi 4 generals now. But some of these have changed. Yeah, brilliant strategist, career officer, infantry officer, infantry leader, experience factor, um, trickster. Well, so far I'm loving this guy. He's really, really good. He already starts with trickster and engineer. Yeah, so you are gonna take care of Beijing. And I'm gonna have you plan just give you a simple order like this for now. These are the home island defenders. So... Uh, I don't know about if I need to give you a field marshal, but let's start with a commando. I should have somebody who's good at being a commando. Like... Ooh. Reckless. A cavalry officer. That's good, we have some cav. Maybe we should separate these dudes then. If we have if we have a uh, unique cavalry leaders, cavalry leaders that is. Uh, Lurkless. There's nothing here for like. There's commando. Yeah. So Hitoshi, you're gonna take care of these dudes. What? No, 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 no. Hitoshi is doing the marines. Yeah. Oh, he takes a while to move. 
Ah, so it's not instantaneous swapping the dudes around. Okay, that's fine. So I could give you guys an infantry leader. But I just want somebody who's good at defending. Where's the uh, defending trait? Cautious. Um, I gotta get used to the uh, the new icons. Old guard, max entrenchment, substance abuser. What the fuck? Really? They have added substance abuser. Are they making fun of uh, Stellaris? Is that it? Are they making fun of Stellaris? Uh, look. I'll give you this guy. Oh, it's too big. But uh, I read somewhere that if you do a garrison order, it's different. So if I tell you guys to take... Uh, just defend the small islands, okay? We have so many of them. Mm. Yeah, this all counts. Yeah, this is striped. And is that all of the islands? Yeah. Yeah, so these count as one area. So when I click them, yeah, okay. So it's easier now to assign it like this. So I want you guys to... Not the coastline. Just do... Uh, yeah, victory points and naval bases. That should be fine. I'm told that this guy should swap now to have a capacity of, like, 75. If I unpause for one hour... Yeah, 72. That's even better. Okay, so we are gonna defend the islands. And you have enough for this. 23 divisions is all you need for this. So we have Taiwan. We have Okinawa. And we have all of our def islands defended. Good. Let's add this one as well. So it goes up to 24. You can add Sakhalin as well. 25. And I think I'll add a unique one just for Japan. I'll add it like next to this. So uh, I don't think I need a field marshal for this. You guys are fine. I'm just going to tell you to wait in Nakasaki. And you guys are... Yeah, I think I could just put you guys together. Yeah. And give you guys a tank leader, I guess? Cavalry officer, no. Um, cautious. This guy's horrible. Are you telling me there's nobody here? It's not infantry. It's not cavalry. Inflexible strategist. So I only have cav and infantry. There's no panzer, dude. That's horrible. I should have a panzer. Are you telling me the Japanese just don't know how to use tanks? Okay, let's just give you a high level one. Somebody... No. Old guard. No, 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 no. Let's just give you this guy. He has cheap promotions cost there. That's good. I could actually put you under this field marshal here. That should work out fine. Also, let's get the calf out of here. And I'm going to give you the cavalry, cavalry leader. Not this guy. This guy's not good. I don't like these two traits. This guy here. Yeah. Okay, so that's sorted. That is way more complicated than it used to be. Uh, we start out with some text, don't we? Yeah. We have two battalions. We got motorized unlocked. That's good. Uh, 1934 tank. We have already grand battle plan. I kind of want to swap to superior firepower, but it's a fine. We don't have the cheap uh, destroyer here. Oh, but we might just go full on carriers. I like that idea. Yeah, we start with base strike unlocked, and we have close air support and naval bomber and fighter f carrier models. I'll get rid of the close air support. I don't want that on my carriers. Nothing here. Okay. Oh yeah, they changed synthetic oil now. You can now build the refinery by default. 
Or I guess you have to unlock this. And this is one more oil for synthetic refineries. Huh. So there's only one rank of this? You don't have to keep building uh, synthetic oils, do you? So this building provides a state with plus one oil and plus one rubber. So it's just two. And the building cost is 13,000. That's it's more expensive than both of these. But then again, aren't we on toaster economy? We're not on toaster economy. Beautiful. Okay. Let's just do the basic stuff here. And we have one available here. I could just start with the fighters right away. But I kind of like the idea of going for more doctrine. Let's just go... Let's just keep with the grand battle plan for now. We could change that around later. I'm also told that infrastructure and civilian factories are a lot better now. You get more resources from the area by building infrastructure there. So you see a, a zone with like tungsten and steel here. If I improve the infrastructure here, we're going to get more of that. But I wish these would show me that... I, I don't see if this is my Manchuko unless I actually click on it. That's annoying. So we got chromium. We don't need to increase that. I do like the idea of increasing you. Yeah, you got also... So let's go here. Oh, we're getting... Okay, I can see the increase. That is awesome. Well, this is a bigger increase. This is less steel increase, but more tungsten. Steel is more important. If I boost all three of you up by one, we get eight more steel. I like this. Oh, and they, they changed this as well. Start with infantry equipment. We have no aluminum. Let's see. Carrier naval bomber. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... So, we got carrier fighters and naval bombers. We gotta build some of those for our dudes. What does uh what do we have here for support equipment? Yeah, we do have recon and this, so we need to build these. Uh we need this as well. I got six to spare. What am I missing here? Motorized. Let's just at least have it. No no no. For now, let's check this out like this. Um can drag you, right? Oh, I have to click this. Not to collapse. I should be able to drag you. There we go. This is what I wanted. So, motorized, we definitely need. Oh, tanks. So, this is all the production I need for now. I would like to add some more planes here. But we have interwar fighters. And right now, all I need against China is air superiority. So I'm going to upgrade the infantry, uh, the uh, the base fighter, and then we're good. Maybe I should aim for having eight rubber. That should limit the, uh, the, in, uh, the import. But I only have four here. If we do it like this, and then like this... Um, yeah. Oh, we're, we're out of factories. So, it's fine. Yeah, let's max out our carriers. But what are, how good are our carriers right now? I have three carriers in total. Yeah. Let's just get them all together and then I'll sort it out later. All of you go to Nagasaki. Six... This one is a 10. Everybody go here. Uh, air. Let's get all of you guys together. So I can sort you out better. Just go... Uh, Nagasaki is fine. Oh, actually, no. Just go here. It's probably not big enough for you. And then we have dockyards. Um...
damn this is a lot of production uh, these guys are almost done we're building one of these I think I'll sort this out later. I'm not gonna. I'm not that worried about being behind on this. Okay, so this is. Oh my God, this is huge. Manchurian project. What is this? This is to improve Manchuko. Okay. This just builds stuff for Manchuko. That's kind of boring. Uh, naval tree is here, and then it sort of goes into the uh, the the air f wing here. Okay. Army experience. Ooh. Division training time minus 15. That's very fast. Oh my god. Holy shit. Defense attack and division recovery. What's the other option? Oh my god. Why would I ever choose this? Ah, because I lose out on these two. Well, that's fine. That's, that's, that's three resource boosts. Bicycle infantry? <laughs> Bicycle infantry. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go this, definitely. And now I have four options that are all unique. Okay. Strengthen civilian government. This is democracy. Uh, this is young officer coup. Shova Restoration. This is Imperial. Challenge the Zaibatsu. Guide the Zaibatsu. Oh, this is so complicated. Nationalize the Zaibatsu. So this changes Zaibatsu with Nationalize Zaibatsu. It's, it reduces many of the negatives there. So this is Join Common Turn. Ah, so this is the Communist option I don't ca I don't really like that so we got communist and then we got demo democratic over here and then these two are um, hmm, non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union alliance with Siam secure China great Eastern Asian coast prosperity sphere this is my faction Modern Shogunate. Prepare for war with the Soviet Union. London Naval Treaty. Non-aggression pact with China. No, that's not what we want. So, so far, I think we're going to go down this route. We could go, um, we could go democratic, but that's kind of not what I want. Ultimate deterrence. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But yeah, let's go ahead and purge the Kodoha faction. A new faction has appeared, intent to take control of the government and strike north into the Soviet Union. We must eliminate them before they can do too much damage. Yeah, we want to go into China. Yeah, this is the Marco Polo bridge incident. Okay. That took a while, but we're fine. Let's go to speed four here. And let's see. Dutch East Indies. Sure, let's go ahead and do trade with you guys. Uh, aluminum. Let's get it from the Soviets. And oil, we're getting already from the Americans. Let's see here. Are all of you gathered here? Also, maybe I should change some of the uh, options here. If I get the units involved, they're not fully rendered. That's better. I think it's fine for now. Let's try it out. Usually I turn off everything just so I can get as much uh, performance as I can. Because in the late game, it gets horrible. I might have to turn this off in the late game. But for now, I like having this. Okay. Oh, I got carriers in here? Why do I have carriers? Go away. The carrier model is in there. Let's see, Navy. Okay, you're all gathered now. 
And the Air Force is mostly gathered here as well. Um, okay. How exactly did I do this again? Let's go ahead. Uh, Kaga, Akagi, and Rujo. There we go. Okay, so I don't want the close air support dudes. So you and the close air support go away. Akagi, you also have close air support. I want them gone. Um, you have a deck of 45. You're probably older. You got 58. So we got fighters and naval bombers. Let's go ahead and beef you up. I want to see like... 25, 25? I guess 27, 27 works out for you. Yeah, 27, 27 for the bigger uh, carriers. Uh huh. I can set a default template later when I make my own. You are gonna get uh, naval bombers. So. You're gonna go up to... Oh, wait, you're shorter. Let's go 22 with you, and we can go 23 with the other one, because we're limited here. How's this? You're 45. You're 58. Wonderful. Uh, you go away. No, no, no. So we still have some models, carrier models here. I don't want them in my airfields. But, but I suppose I could use the close air support models that I already have to use that for air combat. Tactical bombers, fighters, close air support. Let's get you up to a 200. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. 100. 200. Tactical bombers. Okay. Let's see. Close air support. Just give me all of them. Tactical Bombers, Fighters, Close Air Support. Both of you guys are going to go here. You're going to go Strategic Bombing. But yeah, I can I can choose what they prioritize. Um, I can pick as many as I want. I'll focus on Factories and Forts. Thank you. And you guys just get Air Superiority. And you guys just fight until you're all dead, because I'm not going to rebuild you. This airport here can house a thousand, so let's put you guys there and put you into northern China, but I'm guessing the fighters have very short range. Yeah. We have no airport over here? Oh, right. I can assign the planes to... I can assign the planes to uh, air armies. Wait, what? Go over here. Thank you. Actually, you guys... We don't have that many bombers. Let's just put you at 50 for now. And you guys just go uh, to 150. Uh-huh. And then I can assign all of you to this guy. Oh, I have to assign him to a division. These are the main dudes. Oh, you have a cav here. Um, let's assign them to... Um... Hmm. Let's assign you all to this guy. That's the... Uh... Yeah, that's the tank dude. Uh-huh. That's good. That's good. So, the calf. I want you here. You guys, I want, like, just focus on grabbing Beijing. Missing equipment production. Yeah, we're not going to make close air support right now. Okay. Submarines, get out of here. And you guys, let's split you in half. Okay, so you got two fleets 
Uh, this one has six capital ships. You got the carriers. Um, give me uh, the carriers. And you give me the battleships. Let's see here. Go away. Go away. Okay, you've got the carriers. And then you have the battleships. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, carrier fleet. And we got battleship fleet. There we go. And then we got just a submarine fleet. Um, let's see what we got here. These guys have not changed at all, have they? They look exactly the same. I got one sea wolf. That's it. Okay, that's you. Carrier. Uh, you have air controller. And what do you have? Naval AA. No, we don't need that. Old guard, no. Let's just gra grab one of the good ones here. So, battleship. Let's go with medium, medium, and split off, and split off. You guys don't split. You're only strong when you're together. Convoy rating. I'm going to base you out of Taiwan, and you're going to cover the Philippines. No, 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 no. We'll cover everything over here. No trade should pass through this and then we have the carrier fleet. Just go search and destroy. Over here. Hmm. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe we should have them just focus on defending our mainland here. And then we can have battleship fleet search and destroy. Take these. Wonderful! You start off with such a big nation that it takes a while to get everything through. So you're gonna join the carrier fleet, you're gonna join the battleship fleet, and heavy cruiser. Just join the battleship. Join the battleship. Uh, join the subs. Subs. And subs. And we have five of these available. One, 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 five. Let's just get all the production done that we can. There we go. Just pump out everything we can. And then when I run out of uh, things to produce, I should get a warning. Wow, we've had 30 minutes just doing this. God damn it. Purge the Kodoha faction. It's, it's a problem when you start out with so much stuff. I mean, Japan is a major nation, so... It's kind of to be expected. I also kind of want to build an airbase uh, in Hebei. Uh, 600 is enough, I think. Because these airbases are too far away. And I need more support. Um, this is going to be built on the 7th of February. Uh, the first one. That's fine. So is 600 enough? Hmm. Probably not. Uh, maybe. We'll, we'll make it do. It will do. I need to build infrastructure as well, so... And I should also start training some of my dudes. Uh, so how many of you could I train? Three more? Yeah, I can train three more of these. Oh. There we go, I'm out. Can you go ahead and join this guy? Maybe if I change the uh, unit uh, division template, we can add some more. You guys, I don't want to build any more of you until I change you. You guys are fine-ish. Kinda. And you're just general infantry. Well... Hmm. Oh, you're not assigned to him, are you? There we go. All three of you are underneath this field marshal. 
You guys should focus on grabbing the Communist China stronghold. Yeah. I like this. Let's uh, speed it up a bit. So. There's the airport. And immediately some planes are moving closer. Yeah, I don't like, like, the air coverage in all of these nations is just atrocious. I hate it so much. But uh, we also need some infrastructure over here. We cannot support our army in all of these provinces because it's just so bad. I also, this is all desert or hills and tundra and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna have... If I had Mountaineers... Oh, I haven't checked out the decisions already. I completely forgot about that. So this is a new tab that we have for every single nation. I'm gonna go over all of these. As the world burns around us, our people are woefully unprepared for war. We must rally the support to take up arms for our nation. Uh, weekly war support. We have very high weak war support. We don't need this. So if I need war support, I can do this. Test the Soviets. We share a border along... We share a long border with the Soviet Union in Korea and Manchuria. A large number of potential flashpoints exist where our forces might clash at any point, at any moment. For us, this creates an opportunity to test the Soviet responses to a minor provocation. Has completed the focus, purge the Kodoha faction or support the Kodoha faction. When... Uh... Escalation of the incident. Oh, I don't really want to go after them at all. Improve, work improve worker conditions. This gives me stability. Consumer goods factories factory. Yeah, so if I need stability, I could do this. Promise of peace. Weekly stability. Uh, war support goes down. It costs us political power. No, we don't want this. Anti-democratic raids. Anti-communist raids. So this drops the opposing force institute fresh censorship daily oh so this drops all of it but aren't we like completely yeah we're completely fascist this is not a problem prospect for resources develop south Sakhalin oil fields Esc I need excavation 3 for 60 days and it uses 3 civilian factories I get 8 oil really I can just get oil I'm guessing this is just a one-time thing, though. Develop Palau bauxite deposits. We get aluminum in Palau. Where is... Uh, uh, really? In this island down here, we get aluminum, okay? Extend the, the tungsten mines around Chosin. We get six... We have enough tungsten. I don't think we need that, but... Uh, like, let's see here. Aluminum, we have seven. And oil, we have four. We already have four of them in South Sakhalin. So we're going to get a bit more. This is very, very interesting. Inter-service rivalry. Oh, this is the rivalry between the Navy and the Army. The Imperial Navy and the Imperial Army are locked in a vicious conflict over our limited resources. We have... Instituted regular conferences to ensure our resources are spent in the right place. Favoring one over the other will have far-reaching consequences. So I'm guessing this one changes depending on which one we favor. And I kind of want to favor the army if I'm going to go after China. Right? Prioritize steel for guns. Prioritize steel for ships. Prioritize army aircraft construction. Prioritize naval aircraft. Okay. Institute indiscriminate construction. Mm. Recruitable population, 2%. Grant draft exemptions. Form raiding regiments. Special forces capacity multiplier. Ooh, special air landing forces. This is all very, very exciting. And right now I can do promises of peace, but I'm not doing that. Oh, and then I can tack this out. Ah, so I don't get notified. Well, I'm going to take a look at this better at some other point, but uh, like my production right now 
I don't need that much navy right at this minute. I mean, I have quite a lot of uh, factories for that. We have 15 starting off with. Which is pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead. Five. Let's put you on like three. Let's just finish our stuff down here. Okay, your guys are done. Finish this submarine, would you? Uh-huh. Come on, finish it. There we go. This one is done in 12 months. What is this default thing here? 27, 27. That's fine. And... Hmm. You have a bunch of these available. Let's just finish the cruiser. Once he's done, we have nine more. So if we do four, no, five, and then four, this should work out. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm so loving this. Like, modders are gonna love this. Being able to click these buttons now in, in game. I can't wait for the Kaiserreich updates. Like, seriously. Just this tab is gonna do so much good for modders everywhere. Let's see here. We add. Let's see. Effects when selected. Add. I get four military factories. Replace inter service rivalry balance with inter service rivalry army strengthened. Military factory construction speed. Dockyard construction speed. Factory output. Oh, so this increases my military output. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Yeah. And then we get more. Wonderful. Okay, what do we need? What do we need? Um, we got four extra factories. We have two more uh, rubber right now. So let's go ahead and bump you up. And let's bump you up as well. We need to start making some uh, better divisions. Give me more oil, America. Thank you. And steel from the Soviets. Thank you. Beautiful. And our command power is rising rapidly. Okay, so we've purged the Kodahoff faction. Okay. Yeah. Um... These are not mutually exclusive. Let's see. Replace Zaipatsu with Guide the Zaipatsu. Civilian factory and military factory 5% and factory output 5. What is it right now? Okay, so that increases the bonus from 5 to 10. And I get two civilian factories. National Spirit Liaison Conference. It's grand. Starting planning skill level of new army leaders plus one. So all of my leaders are going to get new army leaders. Oh, so if I make new one. Ah, okay. Well, uh, this is what? What is, this, what is this pact? The task that lies before us may well prove a challenge for our abilities. We should reach out to other governments with similar goals so that we may engage in some measures of cooperation. Oh, with the Germans. Okay. Alliance with Siam. Bypass the Philippines. Secure the Philippines. I'm pretty sure the Americas have uh, uh, guaranteed them. Annex War Goal, Dutch East Indies. Annex War Goal, British Malaysia. Conquer focus against France. Ooh, I like this. I like all of this. And what is this one here? Changes economy law to total mobilization? Really? I can just get total mobilization? I kind of want to rush down this one. Requires one of the following. Nationalized war industry and imperial arsenal. So if I go here, this one, this one, and this one, I get total mobilization. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's the plan. Okay, Rhineland has been remilitarized. That's nothing new. That happens every time. But uh, I think I should spend some of these command points now. Like... 
organization loss on moving, reinforce rate or division recovery rate. I like re re division, division recovery rate, but can I get this one as well? I say field marshal traits, earned traits. Earned traits are the traits that cannot be manually assigned, but can be gained by gaining experience. Oh, so Panzer Cavalry, yeah, Infantry Leader. Oh, I get it, I get it. So, and then these are the Generals, these are the Field Marshals, and these are the Terrain ones. Uh, this is only for Generals. Okay. So, you have Organization Lost When Moving. You have Charismatic. And I could give you this one as well, but let's hold on that. You have Engineer and Trickster, so we could go... Uh, what is this? At least one Terrain Trait. Oh! Makeshift Bridges. So this is for River Crossing? Movement Bonus on Land. Oh, that is awesome! Fortress Buster. We're not going to have a lot of forts. Equipment Capture Ratio. Oh! That's kind of cool. I didn't know you could capture enemy equipment. You have nothing available. And you have nothing available either. Huh. Weird. How expensive is this? 15. Yeah, let's give you let's give that to you. I wonder if it's limited how many trades you can get. It has to be. Right? Okay. You can't gain anything. You can't gain anything. Oh, what about the admirals? Can they get anything? No. No. Okay, so this is only for generals. Okay, you are a field marshal over here. I can't give you anything. You are my commando. Ooh. Skirmisher. Probing attack. Skilled at using probing attacks to test the enemy's strength and to wear them down. Divisions do not lose their entrenchment bonus when attacking, but do not fully commit to battle. Ah, uh, this is not good for what I want you to do. Paratroopers. Extra paratrooper supply grades. No. Damage reduction against close air support. Air superiority bonus in combat. This is... N I don't want that. Why is this underneath the commando? None of these help uh, marines. This one does. Oh. Out of supply. I guess this is not a good one for him to get. I need in this one. Okay. It's fine. As long as I don't cap out at 100, I should be fine. But we're getting so much of command power. It's ridiculous. And if I were to give you a field marshal, I should have one available. Yeah. Let's just give you a guy. And what does he give you? Offensive doctrine. That's fine, I suppose. And promotion costs. Uh, he's very cheap to promote. Yeah, let's do charismatic on you as well. Oh, wonderful. So, I can promote more Field Marshals, but is there a limit to how many Field Marshals I can have? Um, probably. So, it costs 15 to promote you. Unable to promote. Um, okay. Cavalry... Reckless. I don't like Reckless. But if I promote you, you're not going to be that. You're going to become a Field Marshal. You know, this guy is useless as a general. But if I were to promote him, I want to try it out. He's still a Cavalry Officer and Reckless. And Old Guard. Really? Oh, Organization last one moving. Max Entrenchment plus 30. Oh, I need this. I'm going to swap the field marshal around. I did, that's good. Is that because you were an old guard? Hmm. Maybe. Because this is what I need against the Chinese. At least on my field marshal. 
I can get charismatic as well. Okay, let's go to speed fight here. And it looks like we are out of time. I haven't decided on how much I want to, uh, how long I want the episodes to be. But the first episode is definitely going to be long because I had to get everything in order. But um, we're approaching now 50 minutes. And we'll see how long the future episodes are. But yeah, I'm going to stop here. So we're just getting into the feel of things. We're in April. We're just in April. And so far, I have, in a few months, I'll have total mobilization, which is just ridiculous. Oh, nice. Kamikaze strikes? We don't need that. Has technology rocket engines? No. So these are useless, but this is also good. But yeah, we're going to have total mobilization soon. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya.